Exploration Films. Check us out on the web at explorationfilms.com. When I was nine years old, my father was invited to, to, to preach at a little church in Tawarty, California. We'd never heard my father preach, but here he was invited to speak. He preached about salvation. And I went forward. And I, I never experienced anything so great in my life that I actually accepted Jesus. And my mother was right there with me. And she started singing a song. Uh, because my father said, repeat the son's prayer. And I stood it real bad. But when I prayed then, I, I could pray. But I knew Jesus had come into my life. When he came into my life, it was such a dynamic invasion of Andre Crouch in my life. It was, he just swooped in me. And that was the beginning of my romance with the Lord. I don't know why Jesus loved me. We were invited to go to a little church in Val Verde, which is near Valencia, California. And this little church had no pastor. So my father said, hey, we're going out. So we all, my mother packed a lunch. So we go all the way out to this place. It was 60 miles from where we lived. We walk in and there were about five people in there. And they were, it smelled like uh, cheese or uh, milk or something, you know. <laughs> Because they were all farmers, you know, who go, ooh, what's that? You know, and the con the floor, it was just a box church. The floor was a concrete. They had some little pews and a piano and a pulpit. This lady said, we've had uh, Brother Ben Crouch, he's going to preach. And he preached like a wild man. He preached like the place was packed. And we kept saying, ooh, this is a daddy. They had no piano player. And it's this piano player, this piano, upright piano. We just was closed, you know, and uh, we were accustomed to music, you know, and, but there was no one to play the piano. So he said, Andre, because he knew how much I loved Jesus, he said, come up here. I didn't know what he, you know, being shy and you were drunk. And I was standing down there. He said, Andre, if God would give you the gift of music, would you use it for his boy all your life? And I said, and then it was like someone asking me now would I like to be an astronaut. It was foreign. But I know we like music. And I said, I looked up at him and I said, yeah, daddy. And he laid his hands on my head. And he said, father, I laid my hands on my son. And if you want me to preach, you know how much I love music. Give this boy the gift of music. So I walked back to my seat, and he, he, he proceeded to preach. And the last Sunday that my dad was supposed to be there, I had no clue he was going to do this, but he said, Andre, come up here. Well, you know, what's, what now? I knew he was going to ask me to play, because I had never touched, the, I had never touched a real piano. And they started singing, what a friendly having G. Us. And my father did like this. I go, what? He said, go to the piano. I said, go to the piano. And they started of singing away from me of Jesus. And I found the tonic note. Like, what? No, 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 no. My ears just popped. And I go, dee, 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 And I started playing. Just, just like that. With both hands. And, and God, God started giving me songs and songs. songs and it has never, ever stopped. I've never been back there. 
since I was a kid. I said I would sure like to see that church because it was such an impact on my life. And we were only there for about three or four weeks. Such an impact on my life. I knew where the place was. I said, just go, go a little further, and it's going to be over there. And we did that. And I said, oh my God, there's a church. And we drove up, and this lady recognized me. Yeah, I said, is your pastor here? She said, yeah, he's right back there. I said, will you please call him? She, she yelled, she said, uh, Brother Andre is here. And so I looked at him, I said, Brother, it's nice to be here. I said, but can I go in there? Like that. But <laughs> I said, can I go in there? He said, sure. I said, do you know this is where God first touched my life? When he first gave me music. He said, oh, no, I didn't know that. But he said, somebody had told me something. I said, it was right there. So I went, and he opened the door. And the glory of God was so. I said, this is what God. first touched my life with music and it was awesome to know that God has taken me all over the world and it started from a little church that nobody even likes to go to and he touched this little boy he stuttered. And I'll never forget it. Exploration Films, where curious truths and uncommon minds meet.